Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. I'm doing pretty all right myself. Sorry I'm wearing the same Spooderman and Hulk shirt that I've been wearing in the last video. But I finally found like a few minutes to film so I'm just sitting down and filming as many things as I possibly can. And what I'm going to be doing today is this month's Allure Beauty Box unboxing. As many of you know I have had quite a storied past with Allure Beauty Box but I have held on to it for like last month and this month so we'll see if this is any good, am I gonna cancel? Am I gonna keep it? Who knows? I believe I have subscribed and canceled my Allure Beauty subscription four times. Four? That's a lot of times to subscribe to something and then cancel it and resubscribe. And they generally draw me back when they have some type of like special fancy deal and I'm like, oh that's a good deal. And then I end up being subscribed for like two more months and then canceling. So let's go ahead and get on into this box. I have gone ahead and cut off the outside um plastic so we can pop right into it. The Allure I thought that would be easier. The Allure Beauty box is a fifth $15 a month subscription. Generally, there's a coupon where you can get your first month for $10. <laughs> Why am I having such a hard time opening this box? There we go. No. Oh, very close one. Inside of here, you'll get like beauty and makeup items. Sometimes you do actually get full size things in here, but there are like samples and deluxe size things. Right on top, we have a little magazine here. I like that pose. Something tells me that me and her just don't look the same doing that. She looks pretty cute and I probably just look like a fish. Inside of the little magazine here, it'll tell you about the products inside of the box. Right on top here, we have a little $20 gift from Bobble Bar. It says, never leave the house naked. Always put a bobble on it. What's a bobble? Anywho, there is a $20 gift card for a bobble in here. I don't, is the bobble the sweater she's wearing or jewelry? I don't, I don't know what a bobble is. But $20 is a pretty nice coupon. So here we have the box with all the little thingies inside. All right, you guys. So I am seeing a fair amount of like skincare, hair care stuff. I feel like that is kind of standard in a lower beauty box. I feel like there is a good amount of skincare and hair care with like a little bit of makeup just kind of like tossed into it. So the very first thing I am seeing here is from Feel Harmony and this is a rose petal facial mask. And for some reason recently, I feel like everything is rose. Which isn't exactly my favorite thing because I'm not a fan of rose. But this is one of those little like squeezy tubes here. This kind of looks like one of those little like apple sauces that you give kids in their lunch boxes. But it says this is an ultra concentrated an ultra concentrated toning gel and I feel like there is enough in here to get a couple of uses out of. I don't think this is like a one use little packet which it's nice to have like a cap you can actually screw back on so you can save it. All right, next up here we have something from Way Hair Care and after many, many times of receiving this brand in all my subscription boxes, I think I finally figured out how you pronounce O-U-A-I. It's Way. Or at least that's what I've been told in the comments. So this is a leave-in conditioner and I'm just very happy that it's not the texturizing spray that I used to get like every single month in like three different subscription boxes. So this is a leave-in conditioner and it looks to be a decent size. You could use this a few times especially if you have like really really thin hair like I do. Alright this looks like it has like a sprayer on the top but the inside of this looks very very thick so I wonder how that works. I really was not expecting that to spray out in such nice of a mist. It looks really thick in the bottle, but it actually sprays out into kind of like a fine mist. If you can see here on the palm of my hand, I just kind of spurted some into it. No, does this smell like rose too? I'm about to read these 900 ingredients and figure out if there's rose in here. For some reason, I'm picking up like a rose scent. There might not be any rose in this actually. It just kind of like is reminding me of the smell of rose. Okie dokie, next up in here, there is this thing, which is an antioxidant lip balm. Ooh. So this is from the Organic Pharmacy. It's supposed to be for softening and smoothing. This has shea butter in it and rose hip to help keep lips soft. I'm wondering if rose hip actually smells like rose? I don't really know. This has a tiny bit of a fragrance, but it's nothing too overpowering. It feels like a very thin, a little bit more greasy textured like balm or something, but I feel like it would be very, very moisturizing. So this is nice to have. Oh, okay. So the next thing in here, I just thought it was like another skin cream or something like that, but this is from Derma E Essentials. This is a sun protection mineral powder. So it is kind of like makeup. 
So this little tub here has some powdery stuff inside and also has 30 SPF. Oh wow, okay, it says on here that you're supposed to apply this with a brush like you would a powder, but it also says reapply at least every two hours. And I know you're supposed to reapply sunscreen like if you're out in the sun or if you're in the water and that kind of stuff, but putting on powder on your face every two hours might be a bit much. So I think if you're gonna use this, it would be a nice like extra bonus for sunscreen, but maybe just go ahead and put on like another layer underneath your makeup of like real sunscreen and then put this on top. Cause I don't know about y'all, but I don't think I could remember to reapply sunscreen on my face every two hours. Plus I would look more like powdery and ghostly than I already do. So this I think would be just another like layer of protection over top of your sunscreen already. The next thing we have in here is from Olay and this is the Regenerist Whip. And this is supposed to have a powerful wrinkle results without heaviness. It is a moisturizer. I'm really sorry if you guys can hear all like the rumbling in the background. I promise I don't live next to like the NASCAR speed park. It just, it sounds like I do. I understand that this is a trial size that's perfectly fine, but companies really need to work on their box to product ratio. I opened this up and like all the way at the bottom of this cavernous box is the product. You could have cut this thing down to here and saved yourself that much packaging. You could have made two boxes out of this one. Anywho, here is the product. It is a cute little jar here. So it's just a red little plastic bottom with a silver top and inside we have the cream. Ooh, and that does feel really, really nice on the skin. It is super duper light. I almost can't tell that it's even on my skin after it's been absorbed in. That feels awesome. I do think I want to let my mom try this out though. She's been looking for a new facial moisturizer and I feel like since this is so light and stuff, she might actually really like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on to her, but it feels really, really nice on the skin. Okie dokie guys, two things left in here. I'm gonna go for this little guy here. It looks like we do have another makeup product. Ooh, this is from Makeup Forever. It is a Artiste color pencil in the shade Full Red. <laughs> I'm not sure why subscription boxes tend to stick with like red lipstick and black liner and they don't really like diverge into any other categories. I'm not sure if it's because red looks good on a lot of skin tones or what it is, but I feel like we just always get red stuff. I also apparently cannot open anything without using my teeth. So this is a little like just wooden sharpenable liner here. It's kind of cute though. And I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it right here next to the other red thing that I received in my last Sephora unboxing that I did like four seconds ago. Oh, I broke the tip. All right, so here it is swatched in the back of my hand. It went on pretty creamy and smooth. It's reading a bit more deep and a little bit more like pinky looking almost than this one over here. There's no reason to compare these at all. They didn't come together in the same box. But it is kind of interesting to see like how many different variations of red there are. There's like a bojillion. Okay, so on camera, these look almost exactly the same, but I promise you they're just, a they're a little bit different. So far, this is a nice looking red liner. Will I get a lot of use out of it? I don't know. I wear like a red lip once in a blue moon, so maybe that one time in a blue moon when I do wear it, I can use that lip liner as well. All right guys, the very last thing we have in here is Luna, which is actually the name of my cousin's cat, who is crazy. Not the cousin, the cat. Sorry if you're watching this Luna, but you know it's true. Oh, I was trying to read the French side. We knew that wouldn't go well, but I did see retinol on this side, so I'm guessing this has retinol in it. Yes, this is a retinol sleeping night oil from a Sunday Riley, which is a very expensive brand, if I'm not mistaken. This is a next generation retinol oil, which reduces the appearance of pores, wrinkles, while fighting the signs of premature aging and surface redness, which I would definitely like to fight the signs of aging on my forehead here. I think it's because like I move my forehead like a weirdo all the time. So I have these weird little forehead wrinkles and indentions. The other day though, I was at a yard sale and this lady told me that she thought I was 18 and I was like, bless your heart. No, I'm not, not anywhere close, but thank you. <laughs> all right, so this is an actually really cute little bottle. I like the blueness of it. I think that's pretty. It might be a little bit hard for you guys to see there, but the bottle itself is kind of like a cold, bolty, turquoisey blue. Or is that the stuff inside? Oh, it's the stuff inside. That makes it so much cooler to me. The night oil is actually blue and I don't know why that made it a million times cooler to me, but it did. Oh, <laughs> it smells 
smells very oily. I was expecting it to have some type of like fragrance added to it, but it smells very much almost like a cooking oil or something. It makes me want popcorn just a little bit. I also like that even though I'm still spreading it out, there is still a little bit of a blue tint like hanging on to it. This I'm actually really excited to try. I am a little bit worried about putting oils on my face because I do tend to break out. So that makes me a little bit nervous, but I'm still gonna try it anyway because it's blue and it's cool. So I think this little thing here might be one of my favorite things in the entire box, surprisingly. I typically don't get super excited about skincare things, but that seems very interesting to me. I'm also really excited about this Derma E right here. And a couple of the other little items in the box seem okay. Was this like the most magnificent box I've ever received in my entire life? No, not really, but it wasn't too bad either. But of course, I would always love to know what you guys think. Let me know down below in the comments what you all thought of this month's box. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you not care? Any and all opinions and comments are welcome and appreciated. But that is all I have you all today. So just thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a wonderfully beautiful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!